Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit. Um, I've been busy with life, but anyway, this is a requested video by my nephew actually. He said, can I show him how I load a nine millimeter? Uh, he got some 147 grain, so I got some 147 grain bullets from uh, RMR. They actually had them in stock, so I got a few thousand of those. I have a few thousand primers. I'm only going to load a couple of hundred right now. And I got a few thousand small pistol primers. Uh, I stocked up and was lucky enough to have some. I'm going to be using a uh, Hodgkin's Tight Group, which I use that for a lot of my uh, semi-autos. It's one of my favorite powders. It's economical. So let's get to it. I'm going to be loading on the Dillon 550. I got it already set up with 9mm. I have Dillon dies and a Dillon powder measure. But first thing we have to do is uh, get the primers in the pickup tubes and get the primers in the primer tube. So let's start by picking up primers. So you start this process with a simple primer flip tray. This is a little Lyman one that I got, I don't even remember how long ago, uh, several years ago for really cheap. I should upgrade to a bigger one, but it serves its purpose. So all you do is you pour the primers into the flip tray, like that. Roll them around a little bit, so they're all facing generally the same direction. Now that you've done that, you flip them by simply putting the top of the flip tray on, flipping it over. And all your primers hopefully are faced the right direction. Got a couple that aren't, but 98 are flipped the right way. You get your primer pickup tube, which is right here, and you just pick them up. And you just pick them up by pushing down on the top of them. They pick right up. It's a slow, tedious process. I hate doing this. There's tools that can do this for you, but they're very expensive. And I figure with 300 bucks, I can buy a bunch more primers and a bunch more powder. Instead of buying a tool that'll do this, I'll just, I don't load the thousands and thousands of rounds required to have one of that. Usually I load about 500 at a time and I can do that pretty quick. So I'll be right back. And there I have a, pri a hundred primers loaded. I'm gonna do another hundred right now. Now to load primers in the primer tube, it's really easy. All you do is you remove the, the primer weight stick. I stick it in the hole, my primer pickup tube, pull the, the carter pin and let them drop in. Put the alarm back down and put the weight on top. Now I'm loading 147 grain Hornady bonded is what I'm actually loading. They're actually uh, RMR bonded, uh, but I pulled some data for you guys off the Hodgkin's website. Uh, I would suggest you make your own recipes, but I found that 3.3 grains uh, gives me a supersonic bullet right in the supersonic range and that's what I'm looking for I want a good thump but the 100, 147 grains if you're running suppressed it's really easy to run this at three grains of powder and then you're running subsonic but that's again you guys work want to work your action what's best for your pistols but I'm using uh, again this isn't my data this is right off the Hodgkin website you can see right off their website. 
So it's their data, not mine. Use anything I say at your own risk. Load your own way. So I have this 550 set up for nine millimeter. The first stage is going to deprime, resize, and prime the cartridge. So that cartridge is ready. And these have been wet, the, the brass has been wet tumbled and dried. Now the second stage will drop the powder charge I've specified, while the first stage deprimes, resizes, and then uh, reprimes. And stage three, put the bullet on there. Stage three will set my bullet to factory length. And stage four will put a factory crimp on it. So we're gonna check this bullet with a case gauge. This is a Dillon case gauge for nine millimeter, of course. Of course it fits, the length is good. Put it on a, put on a flat surface. The bolt comes up, it's too high. You wanna keep it in there so it's just under. So, and it easily falls out, easily drops into my case gauge, easily falls out. Now, of course, I've set all my dies up beforehand. I've set my powder weight beforehand, so I know I am good. So I suggest when you're loading, you check your uh, case to make sure there's powder in it. Some people have lights on their Dillons. I don't because I have two very bright LED lights from a gas station. That there's a uh, 30,000 lumen a uh, canopy light for a gas station. I have four of those in my garage amongst other lights, so I have more light than I need. Now let's just get to loading. And once you get in the rhythm, this goes pretty fast. So I'll do this kind of slow for you guys though. You put a piece of brass on, you put a bullet in. As you pull down, it does all four functions. As you push up, it does everything but prime and you give the handle a press and that'll prime the bullet, prime the casing, see? Now the case is primed. you again bring it up and it's not primed it's deprimed there's the primer right there's the primer when you push forward it puts the primer right in there And the second stage, you see, it's, it's just an empty cartridge. It's now full of powder, and it's also put a, a slight flare on the, on the brass, so you can set the bullet easier. Now that there's powder in the brass, you just 
set the, the bullet on top. go up and the bullet is set and the final stage and the final stage puts a factory crimp on the bullet Hopefully you can see that, that crimp right there. And that bullet's ready to fire. So we're coming close to the end of the primers. And here's the alarm's going to go off. That means we have about four primers left in the tube. I think this might be the last one. There's a primer in the cup. Maybe one more. You see there's no primer in that cup. There's no primer in that cup, so we are done. Just load the last couple. And there you go, guys. It took me about 20 minutes to load 100, but that's because I was filming. I can typically load 100 in about 10 to 12 minutes. So I can load four to 500 an hour if I'm really in a hurry, trying to get them done and being safe. But because I was loading with uh, the camera and making a lot of different shots with the camera, I got about 100 done in 20 minutes. And even though I tested them at the beginning, we'll just test a couple at random here. Perfect. 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 But Dylan is consistent on powder drops, on everything, on, on bolt seating. It's just a consistent press. It makes really good bullets. As long as you, you pay attention to what you're doing, you'll get some great, great bullets. Get some great cartridges out of it. There you go, 100 cartridges. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Thumbs up. God bless. Talk to you soon.